Hey you guys, it's Ben from Idiots Play Games and today we're giving you another uh, match. So today I've got Sean from Idiots Play Games, not the Sean Allen that you guys are used to, but uh, he's one of our editors, he's edited a few things in the past. Yeah, g'day everybody. So today we've got Mickey on our left and we've got Huang on our, on our right. Uh, Mickey today is playing Ghost uh, Go Tanks. I was versing him earlier today, and Huang is using Starter Deck Goku. So um, a meta deck that uh, you know has been topping a lot recently. Hmm. Um, I feel like that Starter Deck Goku will start seeing a little less play, but um, he's very still very strong. Um, while Go Tanks looks like it will be a very strong leader for the format coming. Um, why is that? Why do you think that Starter Deck Goku is going to be seeing less play? Uh, it, like, it's just a tempo deck, and it feels like a lot of the new cards that came out just ruined tempo. Um, like, it's a lot of tempo that doesn't really need to be done in the game right now. So, Mickey's just played mana for turn, which is a green mana and pass for turn. And Huang hmm. has played his, um, his Bulma that searches his trunks. And, of course, he's going to probably untap his mana when he swings. Which I find very good about the Goku leader. It's, oh, it's insane. It's quite difficult to verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it, like, it, it has a lot of defensive abilities. And it has a lot of, like, you know, as you can see, he's got a lot of drawing and a lot of support to hand. Um, like, when, when, the first, when the first iteration of this deck came out, I think it was, like... Because I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, he's playing a whole package where he's playing, um, like, the Trunks engine. He's playing, like, a few of the Goku cards as well. Um, and he just has a lot of, like, board presence. And when the deck first came out, it was, like, Vegeta leader, but now it's Goku leader. Yep. No, I agree with that. So, Mickey for turn has played Further and Destruction as mana, and then he's played, um, not for, yeah, yeah, Further and Destruction, and then just played Ghost, uh, Ghost Tokens, which are really strong in, like, you know, even when they first came out. Hmm. Um, and, like, Ghost Tokens, you know, they're 15k beaters, and they don't have a mana cost, so you can just pop them with Kale for free. Um, and, so if you don't know Go, Go Tanks' effect, uh, when he attacks, if he has less cards, if you have less cards in hand than your opponent, your opponent discards a card from hand. So it's a very strong control kind of uh, deck. Uh, he chooses how much, you know, advantage your opponent has. Yeah, that definitely is quite powerful. Yeah. So on the right here, we see uh, what life is he at right now? He's currently at what's that? Five. Yeah. It's so he's just been taking the hits. He yeah. I, I think like he knows that result training is not going to come in mm. play in this game at all. And I feel like he might want to take those hits considering he is playing the Goku leader from which untaps his mana. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just like he's just really low life right now. Um, I usually def like prefer just to defend off a little bit. Um, gives you a better chance for um, start, uh, like result of training. Mm. And he did have it in hand to start with so it could have been an option that he would have went with. Um, especially versing go tanks, like you want to discard your cards from hand when versing it, because like you're not going to be discarding yeah. things from it when he attacks. Because that leader makes you discard from hand. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, not always anyway. Only if you have less cards, of course. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So he's just passed for turn. We're on turn three with uh, Mickey. Uh, so he's mounted a bean. So he's got one open green, one open red, and one open blue. Um, and we'll see what he plays here. Hmm. So it is a really nice matchup. Like, um, I, I don't believe we've had a starter deck Goku or even Go Tanks on our channel before, um, and it's very like strong. Like, both plays are very well known. Yeah. I don't feel like we've had sleeves this lewd anyway. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you on yeah. that one. Yeah. So he has a decent board where he, uh, like, Huang has a decent board where he's got um, Boo and he has the the Gohan that he got off the combo. Oh, and so what he's done then, with that um, Unified Spirit Trunks, um, when you swing with this card, you can reveal Goten from hand, and you can pop something with three or less on the field. So he swung the Boo, and then he's popped the Gohan uh, with that ability. And then with that ability as well, he's added it back to hand. It's such a strong play. Yep. So um, it's turning his, uh, like, you know, he's tempoing into, like, you know, mm. punishing him for tempoing. But he's tapped out now, so he can punish him for it, but... Started that Goku can't really punish on turn three, I don't believe. Yeah, one hundred percent. This early, it's a good play, I believe, considering how much life he has left. Yeah, uh, what he should like, what would be an optimal play is a play objection for the turn, uh, because you know he kind of wants to get that mana up a little bit uh, more, especially versing Go Tanks. Hmm, but I don't believe he might have one in hand. Maybe, like he has drew through a bit. No, I don't think he has. Just buy off swinging off that. Mm, yeah. 
and it looks like he'd probably just take that to hand. Like, Gotenks does want to awaken. I know, he, like, he loses that advantage where he can just discard. But, um, we'll see what he does here. Um, the bad thing about playing green leaders is that you don't have that, you know, 10k drop when you combo. Like, um, you know, blue, red, and yellow all have it, but, um, instead they got, tr uh, what, what's his name? Um, Tianjin Han instead, which you do not play in, uh, Gotenks. So... How, well, why is that? Why don't, why don't we play it in go tanks? No, you just don't want to mill your life down that quick. You know, with cells, it's fine because you have the removal, but go tanks doesn't have removal. You kind of don't want to awaken early. You kind of want to awaken mm. mid-game. I mean, it is a bit, you know, crit and then take another life to pop something on the enemy's yeah. field. It's quite a, a big commitment to make. Yeah. So he, all he's done here, he's just awoken him. Um, well, not awaken him yet, but given him the potential to awaken. Mm. I wouldn't swing with anything this turn if I was um, Mickey. Because, you know, he's awake. Oh, I think he's going to swing. Yeah, we'll see now. Yeah, because, um, you know, you'd rather give him less cards to choose for mana for the next turn, mm. I believe. But I think he's just going to awaken, draw the two, and he's going to have something better to get off it. Yep, here we go. Yeah. Uh, awakening started at Goku is really good. So I think he's just pulled a Piccolo. Oh, that's alright. He won't use it. Just use the yeah, no, but it, it does help to see those yeah. when you flip. So um, it's also good that he did awaken him early as well. Because, um, you know, now it makes those result of trainings in his deck just dead now. Yeah. Like he has to man them straight away. Especially that he hasn't seen objections. So he's probably uh, using, a, like, he's going to have like six dead cards in, in his deck now. Mm. Would he be playing objection? Oh uh, yeah, hands down. Like that deck needs to ramp up to like turn like four mana as early as it can. Okay. So here we go with uh, the time patrol trunks. He banished his drop to um, play time patrol trunks. Draw one card, chuck one at the bottom of the top. Um, which is a really good pressure card. It like it just gives a lot of people um, that extra draw ability, and it also just deals that one extra damage. Of course, it sucks if you like you know he beans. There we are. And Ooh, yeah. just passes the turn. Like, Mickey's in a really good position. I think he's at like six life. Yeah, six. Um, six life. Um, which is where Gotenks usually sits on um, during the mid game. Um, like, I would be playing Result of Training in that deck, if that were, if that were me. Um, just because you want to get that extra draw power if you need it. Um, of course, Awaken at six. Like, they have to swing into 15k rather than 10k. And so, did he just play, say, Time Patroller? Yeah, he's played Time Patrol Trunks too. Yep. So, you know. Uh, draw two, put one at the top of the deck, and put one at the bottom, or put it at the bottom, and draw one card. Of course, you don't actually have to draw the card, you can just put it at the bottom. Well, here we go. So here's a uh, lot of hope trunks. So if you don't know this card, uh, if you have five more mana, you gain, your lead gains 5k, and that card gains 5k. And um, so right now, start with Goku because he's on five mana. Oh no, he's only on four. Well, when he's on five mana, he'll be on 25. Which just is, by himself. No, which that's is huge. Insane. W without even having any combo. Yep. So here we are with um, Mickey awakening on his side. That is a pass from you. And looks like he just passed the turn on that. Oh, yeah, because he just dropped the carbon combo over it. Yeah, it's. Yeah, awaken drop the carbon. Yeah, that's, a, um, that's a respectable play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what would we be expecting this turn? Um, I'd be expecting like, you know, that new Gotenks that just came out. Um, so you'd probably drop two cards, draw two cards, uh, play the Gotenks, pop the, the Light of Hope, swing with it to face, because you know, he's already awakened now, so you can eat, put as much pressure as you want on there. But just gonna have to see what happens, of course. Of course, he could just go with the five drop as well. Mm. The five drop, you know, just play for three and draw one card. Yeah, I did see a coercion in hand. Yeah, yeah, of course, he's, everyone's always going to keep their blues open. Yeah. Okay, so he just plays another one of those trunks, so he can pop that Light of Hope for free. Yep. And he's not comboing into that, he's just putting in the 15k. Um, I really like Gotenks leader, because the way it's, wor like, it's worded on the card is it swings first, and then your opponent, shoot, like if they have less cards, drops a card. And then after that, um, 
they draw a card. So like, it'd be redundant if they drew first and then they discard, but it's really nice how they do it the other way around. So, do you believe that this matchup, uh, Goku starter deck against Gotenks, is a good, is a quite a good matchup? Or? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty insane. Um, like, with the meta rolling over right now, starter deck Goku, of course, was topping, you know, with Peter Katani using this pretty much the exact same deck. Um, a lot of other people like switching over to this, but with that new drop of heroes and villains, it just gave a lot of extra um, anti. Um, yeah, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Anti-meta cards, or mm. at the same time creating its own meta. Okay. So, I think we're just waiting for... So we're just really waiting for something to happen here. Yeah. Nothing bigs came on the field, mainly just, uh, you know, uh, little things that come on the field. Uh, mm. Would it be expecting a bigger turn from um, Goku this turn, not like next turn? I would consider that at the moment they are just trying to psych each other out, in a sense. Not really psych, maybe they just try and wear each other out it's for the late game. Because yep. both decks are like very aligned on the late game. Mm. Gotenks being a late game deck that, um, you know, wears them over time while starter deck Goku just tempos every single turn and brings up things every single turn to uh, gain the advantage. But on his side, he actually doesn't have anything on field, <laughs> which, you know, is quite a little bit unheard of for this leader. Yeah. So he's just playing bundle for the turn, you know, gets the free draw, it is 10k, but he's probably just going to use the combo for de defending, knowing the deck. Most likely. Yeah. That Trunks that was on the field before, that's currently gone, and he's now at 5 energy, I believe. See, so yeah, it's back at 20k again. Yeah. What Mickey should have done is just added that Trunks back to hand, because mm. that's that villain. That was unfortunate, but yeah. that's just how it goes. Maybe he actually wanted to go to the drop area, so he could get the more effects off, um... Go tanks next turn. Like he may have, like, I uh, think like might just want to cast for six rather mm. than casting for four. No, that's yeah. I think I saw another bean in his hand as well. He's going sense. through it here. I think yeah. And also keeping me. Yeah, there goes size. another bean, and there's another yeah. coercion. So he's got some good defense for himself if he wants to play defensively with those beans, or if he wants to play aggressively with the beans as well. Yeah. But considering he his leader, um, if anything. Playing defensively is much better. So, um, with... Like, I really like Juan's um, uh, mana right now. He has two uh, Resolve the Trainings in mana. He also has one Bean, one Gotenks, and one of the uh, Returning Evil Freezes. Which is actually really good for, for his position. I know he only has one green, so he can't get as much as he can out of the green engines. Like, he might not be able to get his Kales down. He might not be able to get his, like, uh, the promo Gohan down. Or even his Gotenks, but that's more of kind of a late game thing. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. So here we are. I think he's just dropped... Uh, Mickey's just swung leader, uh, and he's just chucked down a, like, his version of Piccolo, and Juan's just chucked the Piccolo back. Yeah. That, that Trunks is actually getting a lot of play right now. Um, like, getting as much value as he can out of it. And here we go with another Time Patrol Trunks. Very insane card for the meta, um, especially keeping your hand size up, and just the extra pressure for free. And it looks like Juan's used a lot of his beans early game, so you can't really like deal with a lot of 15ks, which mm. is what um, uh, which is what Gotenks has because you know has yeah. access to those <coughs> ghost tokens and um, time patrol trunks. Honestly, every deck is different, but whenever I'm playing, I usually hold out on my beans unless I absolutely yeah. need them hands until down agree. until at least the last turn of the game or just a f few other turns beforehand to get an upper hand on my, on my opponent. Yeah, and with an upper hand he's actually summoned his other go, go tanks. I think it's energy boost go tanks. So whenever he swings he has to drop a card from hand. Mm. Um, you know, dropping two cards from hand is pretty, pretty nutty for just, you know, just by itself. Uh, and he like he still needs to combo over the top of that, of course. Mm, so he's just checking his drop, and I would say that's the warp. Is that correct? Yeah, that's his warp. That's yeah. a correct. Yep. Yeah. So I see a piccolo. What looks like another bean. Mm, and a coercion. It's 
so he's just played another ghost uh ghost tanks oh, or go ghost tokens uh it's only two mana you know two mana for you know potentially 15 uh, 30k no so he's just taking the life what's a lot of pressure is coming oh, and, from and, and, that side of the board now yeah and he's just coercion and pass for turn so mm. it looks like he has like one open blue which is you know that's kind of okay mm. he is sitting on three life and once he's sitting on just two life oh no he's on four life sorry uh, uh mickey's on four life yeah. here comes the other time patrol trunks and we don't we don't really we can't really see what's in mickey's hand so there's not much we can't really judge what's going to happen from here but yeah yeah we, do, we just can't really judge what's going to happen from now Mm. So we're going into you know the far late game right now. Mm. Um, you know, uh, it's a bit bad on one side as he is lower life and doesn't really have that board presence. As you can see, he has that kale in hand that should come down this turn to at mm. least pop a few things. Like he's going to pop those tokens for free and he's going to pop the go tanks. Maybe the trunks. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm not sure if you'd swing leader to get the extra draw. Oh, um, we'll just swing at the board to get like, or we'll swing at leader to get the critical, or swing at the board to get more board personally, control. Personally, I would say uh, place and then swing to get the uh, mana untappage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that uh, was Kale, wasn't it? Yeah, Kale. Yeah, that should come down just now, I would say. So it's, yep, yeah, here we go. Here we go. And they're all yeah. Um, it is yeah. a different kind of start of that Goku than all, than I was expecting. Um, you know, the uh, the normal one doesn't actually play Returning Evil, um, Freezer, which is the one that, you know, returns a card that you control to your hand and then puts one of their cards to the bottom of the deck, mm -hmm. um, which is actually pretty insane. Yep. So it looks like uh, he's just swung with Hail to Leader, which yep. is, you know, just single strike critical. That's 20k that does draw you if you have five or less cards in hand. It is critical though, so that is a... Yeah. It's a good advantage of that. But it doesn't look like he's playing further in destruction. No, but I think he has top decked another Kale from the draw. Yeah. And I, I just love Kale as a card just because it's a 15k as well. So uh, no, like a 5k drop for combos. Okay, so now he's got four untapped mana ready to place something else yeah. down. I wonder what he's going to do. No, no combo on my end. The only bad thing about that leader is because it can only untap blue, so it kind of just keyholes you just to play blue. Uh, like blue and like you know let's say if you want green blue is useful yeah like blue is amazing blue is very, access very good. to like access to being access to objection mm. access to coercion yeah much more but coercion. like imagine like because golden freezer golden freezer you can untap any mana you want but you do have to have freezer army to, like cards to pop with it yeah which that is good but it is also a downside mm. i think that the starter deck leader is yeah. Pretty. It's very crazy. splashable. Yeah. yeah, it's it's very good. Here's a question: What did your order go off? Before I found the game. Before what? What happened by counter to make my head? You know this guy. You know this guy. Okay. I'm not sure what ruling they're going over right now. I think they were mentioning a negate. Yeah. And the the negate versus auto. Um, yeah. Conversation. Yeah. Such crappy other game. This should have been over by now. Yeah. Yeah, I do agree with that. Mm. His early game was horrible. He punished him for every single move. I was actually watching this um, in person from the uh, the side that uh, mm. Mickey's sitting on, and I did hear them conversating over that while I was waiting for them to finish the game. Yeah. So it was. I, I agree. It should have been over by now, but the fact that it's taking this long with this much mana and everything else is just sort of... I think they've just matched each other at this point. Yeah. Like, he, he hasn't really played a lot of, like, impact cards. Like, he hasn't really chucked, like, a, you know, the five-drop go tanks down. It looks like he may not even be playing the, um... No. The six-drop go tanks. From what we can see, he hasn't mannered any. I haven't seen any of these combo. So all he's doing right now is checking his piccolos and checking his coercions. So three piccolos and drop, uh, like in warp, mm. or drop and warp, I believe. So like that, that, that by itself is kind of a point where you can push a little bit. At the same time, you can't really push because you know you're potentially dealing with at least one coercion yeah. in hand. I would say. Well, what would you think that um, 
was that Huang should do? Huang, um, not really sure. He's in a decent position to start swinging the board back his way. I agree. He's gotten a lot of, uh, like, a, rid of a lot of his pops in the gates. But it is Mickey's turn, and he just plays the Carver for turn. Um, mm. I don't know how I play, feel about playing Carver late game. I know he is going to be swinging straight into... Well, we can't like, really see what he's got in hand, yeah. so... Well, I can see that one coercion in his hand, just in his straight right hand. Mm. And you'd hands down negate that. Because he can just put everything in his hand into it. Like, he's only dealing with what, potentially one piccolo in hand. While mm. Mickey could have all of his that he wanted. And here comes that other Gotenks. So he pretty much just taps it for three. Of course, you don't have to tap everything out first, because, you know, they're not playing Cold Bloodlust. But it would be, you know, nice if people tapped everything, then untapped. It's just a uh, better yeah, yeah, better way of playing. Courtesy. It's courtesy. 100% yeah. courtesy. So he hasn't swung with the carver first. He hasn't swung with anything. Another. Oh, here comes another carver. So this is the point where he can go for game. Um, if he's playing, like, bean and... and uh, like, if he's playing bean, he'll be able to, like, mm. bean everything down. And now he's actually at a lower hand advantage. So what he, uh, Juan should do is drop a card from hand and probably just take that one life. Uh, it like mm. defeats the purpose of having, um, you know, like two double strike or three double strikers on the field. And then defend as much as possible. Yeah. So yeah, now he has to defend as much as he can. Yeah, exactly. So he swings with Carver first. Eats his life. So he does have that negate. Um, when do you think he should use it? Use it on the Gotenks. Yep. Okay. Um, Maybe do it on the next attack if he swings with Carver first, which I would do. So he's just chucked a, um, a bean in. He's chucked the psyched up goat tanks, which is the one I was talking about earlier, which I wasn't sure if he was playing or not, but he is. So he's just comboed in uh, 30k, which is something easy for him to combo over. Pretty sure this ends right here. We'll see what happens. So here's that time patrol trunks. You know, I, I think we've seen one every single turn yeah. since like the mid game. Nearly every turn. Yeah. I believe with that much on the field, if you can't game him, then it's pretty much done. Yeah. Yeah. He does have that bean in hand, as you can see. I think he got mm. that off life. That's pretty pretty good on his yeah, side. Yeah, getting a bean off of life is is good. Yeah, especially getting a, getting a coercion. I find yeah. much better. <laughs> I think I actually coercioned uh, Mickey late game today. Like I, I pulled one from life. It was, it was devastated when he saw that. He mm. did win the game though. I did pull a coercion from life earlier today as yeah. well. It's an amazing feeling when that happens. Yeah. So it's just putting another five k. Here comes that bean. Yeah, but he's still gonna have to chuck another five k down. Mm. Ooh. So he has to overextend into that. Yeah, he's grasping at straws here. Honestly? Uh, yeah, I'd say it is game. It is game. He, I, I think he should have used that coercion. No, nah, like... He, like. Oh, wow. So here's the... Okay. He's just going to dump it. He's going to search his 10 pump. And probably just like, yeah, go 10. Yeah, that's... Swing with that. Uh, he's going to negate that. Yeah, negate it. And then swing with that. And that, that's going to be game. He's already got the 10 pump in hand. He's probably... Yeah, drew a 10 pump off the 10 pump. 100% done. It's, yeah. yeah, it just shows the power yep, of the... There we those, go. Yeah, just shows the power of those black cards. Um, you know, very insane strong cards. And yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you all for watching. Thanks, guys. See ya.